and we're here supporting our right to uh, strike as workers. Give yourselves a cheer. You know, as president of the union, representing almost 80,000 members across the province, it's so important for, for AUP as a whole to, to see our members stand up and stand up strong against an employer who does not recognize the worth and does not pay the respect that you guys deserve. Um, I want to thank you for coming out. And um, do you guys feel that you deserve better than what Edith Cabell is offering? Um, you're not asking for the world, you're just asking for what people that work in other healthcare facilities make. And that's not unreasonable. And that's yeah, why you're out here. That's right. Your tax dollars and the tax dollars of Albertans fund these guys to pay you the same rates that you, that you would receive if you worked for Alberta Health Services. So where does the extra go? It goes in their pockets. It's just a shame. And it, go, and it goes back to BC. So it doesn't even stay in Alberta. And I think, and I think Albertans need to be aware of that. It's very hard to retain staff here. They come here, they get orientated, they find out how much their pay is, what the benefits are like. They go and use their benefit plan and they find out that the coverage is just not there and they leave. They go work for Alberta Health Services where all of those things that are needed for a fair contract are in place already. Without health care aids, we, we can't do our nursing jobs. It's very important having the nurses on board as well, the LPNs. We work as a team and uh, without working together, and having management on board as well, we're not putting these people's needs first. It's really putting money before them, and it's just wrong. Do you feel appreciated? No! no. Do you feel respected? No! no. You know, brothers and sisters, until you do, until you get a quality contract, I urge you to stay the fight, fight the fight, and stand your power together. <laughs> You're sending a strong message, not just to the employer, but also to Albertans, and more importantly, to the government of this province, who once again denied you your right to go on strike. Now that's a shame as well. Shame! We need to stand united. We need to send a clear message. We don't want to slow down. We want to be positive all the time. There's 80,000 members. Stick together! Be united! I'm a member of Local 3, Chapter 6, Lethbridge Correctional Centre. Uh, just in total support of my uh, brothers and sisters, sisters in particular, uh, for the unfair deal that they're getting and the fact that negotiations are going nowhere, as is usual and typical with this government in Alberta. It is this conservative government that has not made a priority of long-term care, not an investment, not in standards, in nothing. They have a real record of shame on long-term care. Shame! Shame! That Alberta government have been chipping away at all those rights every year, every year as they go along. And they have been in power for 41 years. So do you know where we stand today? They do not stand up for you. Whether there's an election coming or not, whether there's a conservative government in power, a liberal NDP government in power, the reason I'm out here is because it's people before profit. You know, I care. I care because I'm here, not because of just my wages. If it wasn't for these people that I'm caring for, I wouldn't have a wage. And really, the government, by saying that they're not listening to us, is not putting our needs first. When that call bell comes a ring and we go to that room, we check what can we make better, and the call bell is ringing loud and clear here today, and the government is not answering that call bell. Yeah!